We've gone to more leaks about the upcoming new ships you might want to hear about. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to press, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Recently, we've gotten some some more information pertaining to the um, upcoming ships that we spoke about in the previous videos. Um, without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. A lot of this is going to be um, in regards to numbers, as so which will give us some insight on how these ships will behave and what they're similar to. So, um, the very first one that I wanted to talk about would be the Crusader Interpid. So now, the Crusader Interpid is. Um, it seems like it's going to be a starter ship for Crusader. I'm really excited about that. I always wondered um, if uh, CRG was going to come up with something like this. So I'm really excited about this one. So now what they've revealed uh, through the Pipeline Discord channel um, for the Crusader Interpid is the handling of this vehicle. So it seems like the SCM speed for this is going to be 227 with a navigation speed of 1225 so that's pretty fast it's going to be a fast ship so that's 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 really interesting so now let so now let me compare this to the drake cutter okay so the drake cutter has a scm speed of 180 so it's faster than the drake cutter and a max uh, navigation speed of 1010 and the interped being a crusader ship is going to be a lot faster so 1225 for nav and 227 for um scm so that gives you some insight on it as to how fast the ship will be in comparison to similar size i believe it's going to be a similar size to the to the cutter but we'll have to see when it comes up okay so um that's really interesting um you guys let me know do you guys care about the pitch speed and the yaw speed and the rolls i'm not going to cover them now but i'm not sure if you guys are actually interested in those numbers um, so let me know. So this one, the interpid seems like it's going to have 10,000 quantum drive tanks, so quantum field tank. So um, it seems like it's going to have some range. What's the quantum field tank on the cutter? I believe the cutter is supposed to have a lot, actually. Um, does it say here quantum capacity is 1,960 and the interpid has 10,000? Is this real? Is this an explorer? man that's interesting all right so let's continue so in regards to the zeus right the r size zeus scm speed of um 200 the clipper um will have a nav speed of 1000 and the es will have a nav speed of um 1050 okay the star lancer um, which is also an interesting one that I, i'm really excited to see what that's going to look like is going to have um an scm speed of 115 and a navigation speed of 950 so that's that's really um it's, it's going to be a little bit slow from what we're getting it's going to be an explorer so um it's going to be maybe if you're there was a ship that we're going to compare this to it's probably going to be the constellation corsair type um th those sizes i think um it will be okay so now the fortune so i think this is going to be the misfortune uh, the handling will be 143 SCM and a 983 nav. So the fortune is going to be a little bit faster in terms of uh, top speed um, than the Star Lancer. So that's 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 interesting. Another one is going to be the Mirai Guardian. So now the Mirai Guardian is going to have a top SCM speed of 213 with a 1225 nav so what i get from the guardian is it's going to be a heavy interceptor so it's definitely going to catch ships a lot, a lot bigger than it it's definitely going to catch the bigger ships and it's going to be able to take hits from those ships while uh, reinforcements get there so um it seems like that's what it's going to be used for it's going to be a fast probably um straight line very fast um, i'm interested to see the boost of it too so yeah it's going to be a tanky heavy fighter that's also an interceptor so that's going to be interesting all right to continue on the rsi polaris cannot wait to see the ship um it seems like they found some information pertaining to its turrets uh the nose bespoke dual size six ballistics so 
the players has uh nose torts and those two will be size six um dual guns so that's that's very powerful so if you put lasers on that you're good um, but with the six the size six ballistics it seems like it's going to have an rpm of 60 um and then an alpha of um, 1708 alpha with 300 um, um rounds um so they need to give us the ability to restock our ships um the ammunition um on the fly we, we need to be able to do that because ballistics just are not optional uh, right now if we're going for long journeys right so um that's just my opinion so that ballistic gun whichever one that is it, it might be the i'm not even sure what gun that will be it seems like it's going to be the bullets will fly 900 meters per second and has a range of 2800 meters okay so uh and then the top two are now quad s4 uh dual so it seems like uh, on the top of the polaris to, towards the front it will be two size fours as well so that's interesting so now the polaris's point defense turrets now these are going to be automatic turrets um against uh, missiles and and things of that nature and um, it seems like uh, there's going to be three on the top and four on the bottom with an RPM of 600 and an alpha of 19.4. Okay. And their projectiles are going to travel at 1800 meters per second. And these are all lasers. So really excited. Really excited. So now can we use the point defenses as offensive weapons against other ships? I, I want it to be like that, but uh, unless they're planning on making them automatic against missiles. But if you want to attack other ships, you need other people to actually take over the turrets and use them as laser turrets. Okay, so I'm curious. I'm curious to see. The R side Polaris seems like it's going to have a tier 2 med bed. Um, so that's, that's pretty good um so moving on so the redeemer handling changes okay so it seems like uh it's going to go from um its pitch being 18 degrees per second to 32 degrees on the pitch 18 degrees uh per second on the yaw to 32 degrees per second on the yaw and 30 degrees per second on the roll and to 115 um degrees per second on the roll so it's going to be a lot more nimble it seems like so that's why it's receiving the nerf it's going to be a lot more nimble than what we're used to so we're gonna to have to use the redeemer a little bit different from what we're used to okay all right so let's move on so now we've gotten some more information on the guardian so now the mirai guardian is going to be a crew of one okay as opposed to the vanguard which i'm comparing it to vanguard um i believe it's two yeah and um some of the components here um power plant is going to be two size one power plants that's going to run it one size two cooler uh one size two shield generator um qd what is qd you guys let me know but it's going to be one size two jm no qd is quantum drive i'm talking about jm what is jm uh, uh it says it's going to be one size two of that plus uh one size one um life support okay um looking at the quantum fuel it's gonna have two tanks of 2500 each totaling at 5000 its weapons is going to be two size um five m7 a's so two size five it's gonna be a heavy hitter for sure it's gonna be a heavy hitter for sure so this is gonna be the ship you take to go stop the bigger ships and keep them there and actually do some serious damage to them so that's that's pretty good um, for missiles, it's going to have four size four um, missile racks, um, totaling at uh, eight size three uh, web, uh, missiles in total, it seems like here. Its handling is going to be at 213 SCM. I think we covered this in 1225 navigation. Okay. We also have some extra information here. Suit locker. Um, it has a suit locker. It has uh, a bed. And of course, I mentioned it earlier that it has an interior, right? Access. Uh, to that directly via the cockpit ladder and also ele elevator so two entrances for that so it's going to be a standard for CIG to, to all the new ships should have multiple entrances it, it, that has to be the standard okay 
So that's just what I believe. All right. So now in other news, um, CIG has reached out uh, pertaining to the tech preview. Seems like they're going to be doing a tech preview um, test today. It says um, we have a build all set with uh, loads of new RMQ and meshing updates and fixes for the potential 24 hours test starting in about four hours. Let's push the limits. And they also say that uh, we may also have another update for uh, 3.24.2 Evo Cardi later this afternoon. So yeah, so if you're able to, hopefully they actually do it, um, get involved with the server mesh test. Um, it will help them get the information they need to push the limits of this technology. All right. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.